Okay, in this video I'm going to show you how to make a not logic gate. Right, here I have the circuit diagram for a not logic gate. So I have, I'm going to use a 9 volt battery, I use that for all of my, my diagrams, or my circuits, and 0 for ground. I'm using 1, 2, 3 by 600 ohm resistors. I'm using a 3 millimeter and a 5 millimeter light emitting diode, or LED. And in here I have a bipolar junction transistor. So I'm using a BC547, which is also called a 2N2222 transistor. Down here, I have the circuit symbol. This is the circuit symbol for a NOT gate, where here you have positive, here you have negative. Just the triangle, and if you ever see a little circle like that, that means something is knotted, or it is not the input. And the truth table, the truth table for a NOT is, where you have your input A, it can either be 0 or 1. If it's 0, the output is 1. If the input is 1, the output is 0. So it's knotting. It is knotting, or it is not the input. So here is my breadboard, which I've wired in a previous, uh, previous, or shown you how to set it up in a previous video. Now just to make it easier for myself, I've actually put in some of the wires I'm going to be using already. Points note are from here down to here, that is a high line at 9 volts. And from here down to here is a low line at 0 volts. You can see my 9 volt battery, my red line being high, and my black line being low. Okay, so what I'm going to do is this. The first thing I'm going to do is... I'm going to put in my transistor here, my transistor. So I'll show you what my transistor looks like. Right, it has three legs. Let's see, can you see that in focus? No, it's not focusing. Let's see, that's slightly better. Okay, we have three legs. You have three legs. One is the emitter, one is the base, and one is the collector. If you look closely, you can see the right edge as you look at is rounded and the left edge is flat. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to have the, the flat edge, get back in focus please, the flat edge to your left as you look. Alright, so I'm going to have, I'm going to put in my my transistor. So I'm just going to place it in just anywhere on my board. Just anywhere on my board like that. I'll get a, give you a close up now in a moment. Now you always want to have a resistor in series. You always want to have a resistor in series with your transistor. So I'm going to go from high to a 600 ohm resistor and into the emitter of my transistor. Around the collector of my transistor. So there's high. It's coming down to here. And I'm going to go put my, my, my resistor across that. Or my resistor in series rather than across that. Okay, so I'm going to show you this. Alright, so we have high down to here, into my resistor, and into the collector of my transistor. Notice next that I have a line here, this brown line is going into the base of my transistor. Okay, excuse my presentation, I know it's quite poor. So that brown wire corresponds to this here. So what I'm going to do is go from my base to my 600 ohm resistor and into high, or that'll be my input, okay, so that doesn't necessarily go high. So there is my brown wire. I'm going to use, in this, this case, a 5 millimeter LED with the long wire being high, or long leg being high. I'm going to put that in series with a resistor again. And in order to be able to vary the input, I'm going to put a wire between that and we'll say the the input and the input okay so what you should see here is the legs they're there together so they're wired vertically together they're wired vertically together so is the green wire and the resistor but the green wire is at the moment low in other words it's not it's not joining my high line so my base is currently off now I'm going to turn my base on because a transistor will always work when the base is on. And you look, you can see that my LED is actually lit. So this means my, my transistor is actually wired correctly so far. But I don't have an output. Sorry, I should also say that the emitter, the emitter on my the emitter on my transistor is going from here down to ground. From there down to ground. 
Alright, so that's why it's wired correctly. Now get back in focus, please. Yeah, that's alright. That corresponds to this wire here from the, the emitter down to down to ground. And finally I'm gonna put on my, my output. Why isn't that getting in focus? Yeah, it's much better. So I'm gonna put on my output. My output is going, as you can see, from the the high or the, the, the input to my collector that it's coming out there. That's getting out of focus again for some reason. Then it's much better. From here to a resistor, I just like putting in resistors in series with LEDs, and from there down to down to ground. Notice this this is the symbol for a, a light emitting diode or an LED. So as we saw a minute ago, the far wire or the far leg of my transistor, as you can see, is my collector. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to wire from my collector just away from it. I'm going to put in uh, I'm going to put in my resistor in series. My resistor in series, and then I'm going to put in my light emitter or my LED again with a long wire and a short wire, and I'm going to ground that output. I'm going to show you that, don't worry. So we're going from my collector to my resistor, my resistor into my LED, and my LED back down to ground. So, turn off the light again, we can see that A is high, or my input is high, which is my base, and my output is low. My 